like that. Okay, uh, not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yup. We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Pee Pee Smalls, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of the poem you like, or lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? From, for now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Jesus. It's heavy. Like that. <laughs> Sorry. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Eh? You meanie. I need to start using that in a couple of hours. What do you mean? Does this game get extremely mentally taxing? Thanks, bro. Hey, no worries, friendo. I'm sorry. I wish I could help out more. <clears throat> I'm better at talking to people about those types of things in a one-on-one -on -one situation, or things of that nature, especially face-to-face, -face. but I hope I hope that helped a little bit. I know it's kind of hard trying to seek resources or other similar things, especially if you're not feeling the best. We'll see. Okay, I guess I will. Oh, hey, Meg. Welcome back, friend. I'm working super hard on this, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I just meant that it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey. P.P. Smalls, this classroom over here is empty. <laughs> Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. It's weirdly phrased sense. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room one more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Dang. I don't want to relate to this guy at all. Oh my god! <laughs> Thief, I just saw you followed me. Thanks, friend. I didn't- I don't know why, uh, it didn't show up. It didn't make the fun noise. Anyway, I don't know if I've linked it, but if you want, you can join the Discord. Sorry about that. Did I mess things up? Okay. Here we go. Should have went with Yuri. Doesn't this doesn't this benefit you? Now you can see stuff you haven't seen before though. Mm-hmm. Sorry I head straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sorry pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand. <clears throat> They're kind of dirty, though. Siori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, bringing the color names. <laughs> Got linked. Okay, awesome. Here is the only one that matters. You said you did Natsuki's rat as well, correct? Did you like hers? Like, not compared to Yuri's, obviously, because I don't think any of them would compare, but... 
Wasn't that Suki's route fun? All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Blood red. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, uh, I dropped one by accident. <laughs> Sorry bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crowns spill all over her lap. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I see your mouse. Oh, I see. I think the issue is I accidentally keep... Sorry, I'm so sorry about that. It's a good thing I'm actually reading this stuff. I, I think it's because I accidentally resize the window. I'm not going to touch the window anymore. My apologies for that. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much for telling me. I'm trying to be more vigilant, but obviously that isn't working. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. You okay? My forehead. Sayori clutches her forehead. Geez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hand, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a sec. <laughs> Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow. Oh, sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's going to swell up. I should find you some ice. Pee pee smalls. Where would I even, oh, where would I even find ice around this time? I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. This is getting weird. Yeah, this is getting... What? I, how is this weird? She's just sitting like everyone usually sits, right? You don't tell me you don't just sit on the ground like that for prolonged periods of time? It's getting good. I like the different poses that the characters get into, although I wish <clears throat> I wish they weren't all like kinda risque. <laughs> you know. Even wincing from the pain, Sarah makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. <clears throat> I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter, since it will be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayori likes ice juice, so I per or apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. When does the plot come in? I don't know. God, the way you're saying that, I like the way they're moved. I like that. I just like how they go into different poses sometimes. I wish they weren't always like trying to be attractive, for lack of a better word. I like the variety though. I just wish I didn't feel like such a creep playing these this game sometimes. <laughs> Froze again. Okay, now, okay, awesome. Yuri has the best poses. We'll see about that. She has the most non risque. Oh, really? Okay. I'd like that. I like, I like playing visual novels. I don't like feeling like a creep, which oftentimes can happen, especially if romance is a, is a point. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crowns back in the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's, ni <laughs> it's nice and cooled. Sayori opens the cabinet and starts drinking from it. 
FBI. <laughs> yeah, these 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 are all like in high school. These these girls. They're like children to me. I don't want to see things. Say, are you? What are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> so inflammatory. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sarah replaces the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, P.P. Smalls. This kind of reminds me, reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh? What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind, or I had trouble climbing on things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do the, do the things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself, or get a bump, and I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself. You were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I do that? Just in ten now she's <laughs> I think it's just it's her it's her absent mindedness isis. What's the word? Spaciness? I think she's canonically like an airhead type. You got song? No, I don't, unfortunately. Although I do have um in the Discord there's a music section. If you want to show off a song. Did I really do that? Yeah. You don't remember? I'm gonna think of it. Maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Pee Pee Smalls. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. Don't look in general chat, by the way. Why is that? Is something wrong? Is there a spoiler? Oh. <laughs> totally didn't leave a surprise. <laughs> okay. You're rushing to help me. Well, I'll keep on my guard. <laughs> You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. Don't call me that. I don't really I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I, I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens. We've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. PP Smalls. <laughs> oh, Pee Pee Smalls. <laughs> I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. <laughs> you think it'll be like this forever? <laughs> oh, Waluigi. <laughs> forever? If I'm honest to myself, no telling where we'll end up for college or after that. Honestly, I don't really see myself even interacting with anyone after college. It wouldn't be fair to me make wouldn't be fair to me to make any promises. <laughs> Wah! But, well, I hope so. Been this long already, right? I imagine you ever changing. So my hopes are up. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. Sarah has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a while. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. <laughs> my... <laughs> I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's gonna see her forehead either way. <laughs> where is yeah, where where is Mario in this game? Honestly, truly. Did I freeze it? Okay, good. Kind someone said bedrock Obama and said Barack Obama. <laughs> classic, classic mix up. I haven't played Cards Against Humanity in so long. Not if I hide it. 
under my bangs. Yeah, not if she wears her hair the way she always wears her hair. <laughs> Sayori hops to her feet. Ugh. Ugh. She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ooh. Ooh -ooh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. Follow Sayori to the class. That's pretty sudden. <laughs> what was pretty sudden? Squidzy X Waluigi. Oh god. And so it begins. Follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. <laughs> Wah! Hi, <laughs> Symphony. You've made it just in time for the canonical Waluigi X, I guess, myself. Yuri X Waluigi X Yoshi. Oh god. I'm getting crazy. This isn't canon, right? In a moment, we make it back to the club room. But, um, welcome, welcome, Symphony. I forget if I said that. I might repeat myself. I'm kind of dumb. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Hey, Sayori, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about... <laughs> I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. <laughs> All is canon. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We got a bunch of matchmakers in the chat, I see. Well, anyway, were you able to find everything we needed? Uh huh, I have it right. Eh? Sayori frantically glances around herself. I forgot all of the stuff. Calm down, Sayori. I have it all right here. On the poster paper, too. Isn't the classroom like two, f two minutes away anyways? Shrek is love. God. How old is that meme? The Shrek is love, Shrek is life. That's been around for a while. It's still pretty popular, too. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, P.P. Smalls. Ah, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it. <laughs> I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. Years, many, many years. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting vintage. <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, every <laughs> okay. Everyone, are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. I have to make sure the cram box is closed. Hell, I return to my seat. Five years, four to five years. Started in 2013. My God. Oof. It's been around for like almost a quarter of my life. I, I guess we're starting with Sayori. Do I know the way? I do. I'm not a big. I'm not the biggest fan of the way either. Let's see. Um. Sometimes I feel old though, because memes will will just kind of pop up as they always do, and I just won't understand them really. I kind of feel like an like. I can start to understand how my parents probably felt when memes started taking the forefront of society. Go Sayori. Okay. Good. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. We're definitely gonna go Sayori. PP Smalls. I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Eh? I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me I haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so. Eh? 
Sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. I gotta go, Sayori. Go, Monica. Oh, that would have been fun. I feel like we've barely done anything with Monica. Obama. I wish. Oh, hey, Manta. How are you doing, friendo? Welcome, welcome. Eh? No way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki's at least like to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well... I guess I'll be honest about it. This is John Hen- This is John Henry Eden. <laughs> that follow three reference took me off- caught me off guard. Where's my president- where's my U United States presidential Smash Bros ripoff? That's what I'm wondering. A lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Aww. Eh? Ooh. Wah! Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean that you're a really- you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Are you- are you telling me that the life of a person named P.P. Smalls is not an adventure? Even the little things. Like cooking. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. Sai. <laughs> you never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, PP Smalls, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> wow, this is super transparent. I can't be... PP Smalls cannot be this oblivious, can I? Okay, I guess... <laughs> I guess we're just outright denying it. Sayori, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> may I suggest a game? You may! I don't know if- I can't guarantee I'll play it, but I am open to suggestions. Hence why we're playing this game. Although I did already own this game, and it is free. Which kind of made it a lot easier to pick up. I was also not entirely sober at the time. Here we are. <sighs> are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap! Ugh! I broke my pencil. Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped, but being inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. S sorry. It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. I'll live. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her to support herself. Her knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. About the $10 fan pack thing from the store. What's that? A fan pack for this game? Also, the, the small brain. <laughs> I have like a generic um, VN protagonist brain. I can be as dumb or as smart as I, as I please to make sure that I never tell anyone how I really feel. Simulacra. I don't think I've heard that. What kind of game is it? I'm gonna add it to my notepad real quick. It's a mole. Bruh. You got the cracked version? Why'd you get the cracked version? <laughs> Do you just not like Steam? <laughs> I was like, fan art of cool stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'd like to see fan art of this game. Well, non creepy fan art <laughs> specifically. I grabbed Sayori's arm. 
help her stand at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Which part of fan art? <laughs> the... I like... I want... I want to see, like, cute fan art. But not... not... not kind of creepy. Nothing not safe for work. It's pronounced simulac... Oh, simul... sim? Or lacra. Simulacra. Oh yeah. What kind of game is it? Also the fan art. Give me an art rule 34. <laughs> Nothing. No, I don't. Deviant art fan art's usually pretty good, depending on your settings. No 34 stuff though. <laughs> Anything's cute if you're brave enough. I suppose you're right. <laughs> oh hey Swift, how are you today, friendo? All right, let's read this. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm, warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping, scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through, the, through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I, frantic I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters. Against the tile between my feet, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards, all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling, they're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, echo, echo. Echo, echo, inside my head. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did Glenn ask me to play this game? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, no, I've been... It wasn't just Glenn. Um, my friend and also moderator Carlos suggested it a long time ago. So it's been on my list. Oh, pee pee sm <laughs> Poem is strange. Not strange, just deep. I think it could be both strange and deep. It, it, it seems as if they're they're hinting, like Sayori's first poem didn't seem too indicative of any bad things happening, but this one definitely seems like she has to put on her mask of of joy and happiness around all her friends, which is probably why we haven't ever seen her be sad yet. Oh, he just did random stuff. <laughs> It's his sister, if that's who asked. Oh, I knew. Oh, PP pee -pee Smalls, I love your poem. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm missing questions. So I'm go through a phone and look for clues. Oh, interesting. Is it a, is it, is it that a free game, Savage? Sayori, did you really write this? <laughs> of course I did. <clears throat> Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Dang, dude. Pee Pee Smalls is a jerk. I have the emotional capacity of a two-year-old. That's an insult to two-year-olds. She obviously is having, like, issues. I'm calling her creepy. Inner Sayori jokes intensify. Say my name, say <laughs> Pee Pee Smalls. That's only two bucks. Okay, I'll 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 check out the trailer and see if I'm if I might be into it sometime. Creepy. Well, uh, not exactly. 
Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. That's like... Okay. I gotta, I gotta keep in, in mind, PP Smalls is not the smartest crayon in the shed. So, thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express this my way. I think I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? Hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> I wonder how long, how long that is. It's not safe for work. What do you do that's not safe for work? About to tend to play this during class next year. Ooh, good luck. Wait, what do you mean by during class next year? You play with people around me? Seems, seems like a good idea. I think Thief also did that, but with their brother. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Jesus. Who's that directed towards? Or in a few months. I see, I see. Um... Let's just do this. Anyway, just in case, in case people are curious, um, Glenn and, and Swift are really good friends in real life. So that is usually why I'm. It's whatever for me if they're being a little mean to each other. Well, not really, but I'm not gonna get between two two friends' desire to hate each other in a visible setting. Everyone including me and you. Well, at least we're at least we're all part of the, the same group then, huh? Doki Doki is safe for life. Oh, the game didn't freeze, I don't think. I'm just stalling and reading chat. Everyone has heard spoilers. I haven't heard everything. Anyway, let's play this game. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Sarah's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it in no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. They've gone, YouTube. Have you seen you have seen thumbnails? I, I just know kind of what's happened. Like, I just know there's a twist. I don't know who or what happens. I just know there's twists in this game. Oh hey buddy. Oh hey friendle. How is our local mod doing today? Who should I show my poem to next? Just don't, don't be, I don't like to see any meanness in my chat, though. So please do respect that. Uh, let's go Natsuki. Oh, was... alright, that's good. Good to hear. Sorry, I didn't see Monica until literally right after I clicked. That was the Grove. As orange as always. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better, either. You. Huh? Fear what? Ah, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. Oof, if, you, if you are mean, I will ban you. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Just woke up, no one knows what I will do, not even me. He's a loose cannon cop. With no regard for the rules, except for the ones that I, I have for the chat. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe, just maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh, something tells me Natsuki so completely missed the point. <laughs> you do get the results. <laughs> I'm loving these Yuri anagrams. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. 
but you never really struck me as her type. Sarai has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how could someone so, er, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. This time play is Monica. Sounds good. That was a big meme proof of head. My voice and the characters ruining the conception of them. Same. <laughs> okay. These I, I only know I only have five voices in my repertoire. I don't know. I think if there was like a live action movie, they would probably hire me for some of these. I think they fit. Kermit the Sunderay. <laughs> like she's dragging around a dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. Oh, hey, Lily. <laughs> I appreciate the howdy. I need some special guest voices. I would love that. I was trying to set up, um... Let me close this Apple software update. I was trying to set up like text to speech, but it wasn't it wasn't registering the actual text in this game. Because I would have loved that. I'm gonna commit Jeez. I don't think we have an asshole in the chat. Couple baka. Alright, well, I'll leave you two to stop baka. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> You'd say we take care of each other in our own ways. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. <laughs> Don't be mean to Lily. Jeez. I'm gonna have to put you two in a corner soon. Every time he sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Oh god. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. So Natsuki plays the voice of Spy of Kermit. I guess so. I didn't go into it. I've never thought that voice sound like Kermit, but everyone else seems to. Kermit in terrible Russian accents. I don't think do I have a Russian accent? I try not to do any accents. I don't like accents too much. Or when I do accents, rather. Oh, hey, friend, though. <laughs> Amy is my favorite character. Oh, spiders. All right. I don't know. I like spiders. Spiders are dope. They they creep me out, but they kill other bugs. I feel like there's a lot to unpack with that poem. Perhaps doing Kermit the Frog, the frog voices for some of these characters is a bit off-putting. Not bad, right? <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Baka girly. <laughs> oh, your bearded dragon? Ooh. Bearded dragons are super cute. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I had to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course! 
It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It could be anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. And that's a lot of barking. <laughs> Spiders are pretty complex. You're absolutely right. I've just started picking up saving out of habit when I start talking. Oh, don't bully, don't bully Nightbot. Nightbot's good people. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. <laughs> Alright. What are we going to do, Monica? I think Monica. Baka. Sundere. <laughs> Why are we making fun of Nightbot? I don't know. Cut it out. Nightbot's a good kid. He doesn't mean any harm. Exactly. Nightbot keeps the peace around here. Alright, we're gonna do Monica. Per Savage's previous suggestion. <clears throat> Hi again, P.P. Smalls. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. <laughs> as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Uh, sure. Here you go. Get my poem to Monica. I bought this an AI, and AI has no feelings. That's not true. I put like 10% of my personality in Nightbot. So when you hurt Nightbot, you hurt 10% of me. Live on camera. Nightbot killed your son. Sorry. Monica. Why is Monica Bane? She deserves- it, it's- it's canon. It's canonical. PP pee smells- no, 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 PP pee smalls. PP pee smalls. I'm not that immature. Right. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. You can talk to me every now and then, too. <laughs> you can be rude. <laughs> Exactly, it's kind of non-anical. Don't get it twisted. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Ah, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just, you know, still getting used to being here. That's all. Yes. I'm sorry if I was getting... If I was putting pressure on you or anything. I really didn't mean it like that. No. Don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Okay, let's take a look. A cookie Monster. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get a Cookie Monster in here. How many Bakas? You have lost all hope in humanity. Is it from all the Baka? 
by the seconds. The seconds are very important. Why not indeed? Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveform. Squeaking, screeching, and piercing. Oh, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Wow. Load me. Load you? Save me, load me. Oh. Damn. Scroll all the way down. Oh, thank you. Yes, and depression. Aw. More abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> Guess it's just the way I write. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, um, please no suicide jokes in the chat. Even though I think it is somewhat topical to this game, potentially. But I would definitely appreciate not doing that for the time being, or really ever. Big, so it goes off screen, so I can't change it back. Oh, there's probably a way to fix that. Alright, right. Yeah, definitely don't. But if, um... One second. Yeah. Definitely put a Moriart... What is it? Moriarty? No, not Moriarty. Moratorium. On suicide jokes. Or else, I will have to mute you. And or Carlos will have to mute you. Not joking. Oh, I, I know- I know you're not joking, friend. Um, I'll just say for the- for the time being, I'd probably- trying to think of here. We can talk about off-stream, friendo. As much as I enjoy letting people kind of vent ooh, and talk about stuff on stream, I think there's some stuff that's probably better discussed off-stream, if that makes sense. Anyway, that was said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversion with, or, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> you never know when you might change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even? Writing? Or even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I, oh, oh, I guess it's Yuri. Sayori, best girl. I like Sayori right now. He's Bay. <laughs> Just Monica. <laughs> Yeah, please, I know y'all are joking, but please refrain from swearing at each other directly. I would appreciate it. Just because I know 
it can be hard to translate. Or it can be hard to, uh... I don't remember what I'm trying to say here. It can be hard for some people to understand if you're joking or not. So, I don't want to feel like people are getting personally attacked. You know. I have a strong hatred for Monica. It's okay. Boy. <laughs> Alright, Yuri time. Let's see. What you've written for today? Hmm. Well done, PP Smalls. It tastes great. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit, Savage. Sounds good, friendo. My wife. <laughs> hey. It, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire you. Fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poems to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see in here. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. Uh huh. I see. Please give me your best advice. Uh, don't train construction, it's not worth it. That's my advice. Where's your waifu right there? <laughs> you are your own waifu. Gotta redownload Discord. Ooh, that's a good idea. Definitely do that. My knife. I need 83. Well, I don't know. I don't even play RuneScape too much right now. Alright. That's what the, I don't know. I never like chain construction. It's certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um... Well, an example of that. If you'd like to read it. Of course. This is the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of this consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was a symptom. The head, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and why can't you just an urge? Oh, God! Oh shit! No, oh, you. <laughs> the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more. Reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions into the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So my head is always handy. Oh, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. <laughs> Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, um. Yuri, I would definitely refer you to. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> it's a little more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Are you for real? Are you for real, PP Smalls? You're killing me, dude. This 
barely even metaphors. Yuri always got them jokes. <laughs> I don't know if it's a joke, guys. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah. If I take it at face value, I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. So, God. I wonder if the other clubs in this school are, as, are this fun. <laughs> it turns out no one's having a good life. Wherever this school is. Huh, that's funny. Wow, Yuri. That poem was hilarious. You should be a comedy writer. Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Hey. She did. Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She's... she's right. Ah, uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yup. <laughs> Sounds like you do have that in common. That's... well... that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my, ju my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I have no reason to. He doesn't know. What do I not know? Don't. I guess. I guess don't tell me. I'll figure it out. I struck you six times and kept kids from getting lunch. Oh dang. How'd they keep kids from getting lunch? <laughs> ah! Always topical. Okay. Well. Thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be uh, ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. The staircase to the lunchroom. How, why would they do that? Can't eat people are painting. Scientists still trying to figure out why. <laughs> Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? Not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Or we'll end up embarrassing yourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do. Well, with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Stiori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great now, but they didn't tell us what we were actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. Thought you heard about it already. Yeah. Don't want to sit down. Uh, I think Thief is talking about his old school, or current school that's going to. Max. Oh, welcome back, buddy. Glad to have you. Our launch room's on the very bottom. There's only one staircase. Dang. Sounds like a fire hazard. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> that's dangerous. I've never heard of a, um... It's like... Is a lunchroom in the basement or just on like the main floor? Because I've never heard of a lunchroom being in like the basement of a school. It's great when a fight happens. Oh god, I could imagine. We're going to keep perform. Oh, we're going to be performing. Performing? Huh. Um, Monica. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up with and recite poems too. I have to join the Discord. Okay. 
Good. I'm glad you- I'm glad you got it. All the fire marshal complain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Okay, it's on the main floor. I have no basement. I have holes in the walls. <laughs> yeah, that- I'm- I'm sorry, Thief. That sounds pretty awful. Poetry slam. <laughs> right when you walk in. Yeah, I think in my elementary school, the lunchroom was really close to the entrance. As well. Sailor's is putting it on all the posters, in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori. Or Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh? Well, I did. You really think it's that bad of an idea? Oh, oh, North Carolina, huh? All schools are bad. I was actually born in North Carolina. But I was only there for two years. Watched a movie about poetry slams. It was not as good as it sounds. It sounds pretty good. I'm gonna PM you on Discord. Sounds good, friendo. I'm I'm probably not gonna I'm not gonna be able to respond until later tonight. But later tonight I can. It was awful. Oh. Now do we have an asshole in the chat? Is it me? Is this who you're talking about? Same. Okay, cool, yo. Let's find out. Yeah, I guess you can just at somebody. <clears throat> well, no. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life uh, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Find out. I know what she means. Wait, know what who means? I was a bad guy the whole time. Narrative twist. <laughs> So that's the big twist. It turns out I was the Doki Doki Literature Club all along. You're not in the chat. Just a question for nobody. I'm in the chat. <laughs> I swear I'm going to flip if it's you. I don't think... No one's calling you a... I don't think anyone's calling, calling you that, friendo. Savage. As far as I can tell, it's all jokes and japes. Targeted to nobody. Unless there's someone with a Twitch name Asshole, in which case... They are calling them out. Then Waluigi shows up. <laughs> Fifth girl. Every message goes to mods. That's true. Squizzy test and Squizzy. That's a question I can answer on another day. I don't know why. It's because I signed in on uh, Streamlabs as my test account. Because I didn't know that you could actually do test streams with Twitch. Um, but I've never bothered changing it back, though I really should. Okay, good. Thumbs up to you too, buddy. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, sorry. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Oh, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If, whoops, we start the event and each put on a good performance. It will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who form, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It just switches. Yeah, sometimes I open up Twitch, which I am signed into Squidzy on. <laughs> does it, wait, Lily, is that, are you, does that mean you're saying you're the a-hole? I could dab to the soundtrack. Anyone can dab to the soundtrack. I... I'm not gonna respond to that. 
about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and being intimate with those horizons, and having fun with horizons. That's right, and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Some dabs with well <laughs> The floss dance. I don't know the floss dance. Music that isn't rock or something. <laughs> this game does use a soundtrack. Yeah, it does. It adds. It keeps it really light and airy. If somehow like the the animation or the character design doesn't, even though it usually does. Best game every game of the year of the year. <laughs> the Gats Yatiati. Now Tuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. <laughs> Owned. Ooh, woo. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. <laughs> Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Will you, will you sing your poems, or will you die a coward? Yuri dejectedly glances, glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I, I guess I really don't have a choice here, huh? <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. My dad to say, Yuri. <laughs> I gotta go. Ah. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good time. I'll see you later, or I guess maybe I won't, depending. It's up to you, really. Have a good one. Thanks for thanks for chatting. Fun times. The best, Yuri. <clears throat> Club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. Oh wait. Oh god, no, wrong voice. Oh hey Silver. How are you doing, friendo? Squidzy. Hey Savage. Oh gosh. We'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica! This is too sudden! Oh, and recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? So hot. Oh, I feel that. I'm in Georgia, so I'm not too far. It's also stupid hot. Bye. Bye, Lily. See you around, friendo. Doki doki. <laughs> Well, you ain't wrong. Not wrong in the slightest. Have you played this game already? And or watched someone play it, Silver? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. By what time should I PM you? Um, any time is okay. I just won't be able to respond until later tonight, like 7 or 8, 8 p.m. Eastern. If that makes sense. Doki Doki Samurai Club. <laughs> God, hopefully in the, in the sequel. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. <clears throat> Monica begins, re Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. 
Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has her eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Doki Doki Chill Bell Club. <laughs> I want to be like Doki Doki Skydiving Club. That'd be dope. Is he near the good parts? They're all good parts. No, the game is all good parts. See, Carlos knows. How far away am I from these from these distinctly good parts? I'm so good, Monica. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, too kind. You're too much. Please stop. Stop clapping for me. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Ooh, huh? Yuri is fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. Dad? <laughs> You're pretty far because you read so slow? That's because I had to do voices and read chat. I'm sorry. Fighting as, fighting as fast as you can. <laughs> Why, why, why? I don't know. Fine. We'll do a speed, speed, speed read. It's poem. It's called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she probably refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and structure that she meant to the firm timing. <laughs> this must be a rare glimpse of the whirling fire Yuri keeps in concealed behind her head. It's only she's finished. <laughs> I want a stun. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as she builds over even herself. Hi. <laughs> I cannot do that. I'm no one's dad. <laughs> Speedrun. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It's just not sustainable. It's up to me to say the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her for her, but we were caught, off, caught so off guard that she must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds a poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next, then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. I was feeling sustained by it. Oh, perfect. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah, oh, trying to think of it like a reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, on your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice is made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery, like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it. <sighs> Good job, Sayori. I can't sub. Oh, don't worry about it, friend. Just being here is more than enough. I'm sitting here whistling the tune. <laughs> it's catchy. It gets stuck in my head so easy. Oh, God. Oh, hey, Silver. Thanks for the follow, friend. I appreciate it. Before I forget, I also have a a Discord server, if you like Discord. Or if you hate Discord, but can't keep yourself away from it. Truck, yeah. But thanks, thanks again, friend. I appreciate it. Alright, video games. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Silvery. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. 
but it might be that other poems wouldn't tr wouldn't work quite as well with this, that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. You should just scream. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Erf. Don't make me go before PP pee -pee smells. It's not I compared to you guys anyway. Might as well let PP pee -pee smells lower. <laughs> lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. <laughs> yes, call me out. PP pee -pee smells is an idiot. I deserve this. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, make me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. So I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm really not as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it as much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. There's some things I'll improve over time, though. America truck, yeah. <laughs> Does kind of sound like Sean Connery? Well, that's okay. The fun thing about art is that I'm the master over all of it, so at the end of the day, it's really up to me, the art god, to decide what is meant and what isn't. Yuri. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> <laughs> As always, Thief is sticking to to their guns. Am I though? Um, I think so. I don't know. I've been raised as such. That's what my parents always told me. You being the master of all art has ruined all art. Hey, I mean that's correct. But hey, playing this game to get better at reading. I did. Hi, master. Um, I'm playing this game because people ask me to, and also it does help me get a little bit better. I also want to be able to just, like, do voices for a long time. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> That's okay. I'm happy because of the burn. It's good. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat makes her way to the podium. Their poem is called... It's... it's called... Uh, why are y'all looking at me? Because you're presenting, you little idiot. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. I like jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Very interesting. I agree. That's a, that's a really cool reason to, to play a visual novel. To get better at reading. That reminds me of people, um, I remember reading about how some people who spoke, like, English wasn't their first language, but they got better at speaking English through playing video games. I thought that was really cool. I was forced to put my girlfriend. <laughs> and you beat it three times. Well, maybe your girlfriend, I guess your girlfriend was super onto something then, huh? Maybe she plagiarized this poem from Van, Van Halen. <laughs> I, if only I could do a Van Halen voice, although I don't even know what that would sound like. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah. Well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I could put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just... embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well... 
I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what's, what it's like now. Make sure you pick up home and get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I'll probably find some other poet to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all the effort for this club. I can just read other people's poems. <laughs> well, we just read Sayori's poem then. My mouth keeps going dry so I can't whistle good. Oh. Sorry. I wish I could donate my lips. Or slash mouth. In some capacity that would be beneficial. And not creepy as I start to realize what I just said. Anyway, it makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. You know the festival's coming up, well, let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish for planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. All right. Give me them lips. Oh, please no. It's Monica. Hi, Monica. Stop. Oh, don't tell Monica to leave. Hi, Monica. I'm sorry to say that I don't think uh, a lot of people share their love for Monica. Like you seem to do. I like Monica, though. She seems nice so far. Stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. But I'll, I'll do my best to get through it. Just for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you two. Are we going home together like that? It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. <laughs> Sheesh, y'all. Must it must be a little nice though. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, no worries. You're being bombarded by by Yuri apologists. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay. It's okay, PB Smalls. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already walk home with Sori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already had changed. But today, Sori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Oh, I like that face. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sori fumbled with her words. So... Let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? <laughs> what kind of question is that? I would suplex her on the spot. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> it's your piano lesson. Oh, good. Sure it was. <laughs> is this spoilers? <laughs> what would I do? Walk home with Yuri or walk home with Sayori? No, you know what? I'm not letting... Nobody can decide this for me. I'm my own person. Yuri. I know you would say Yuri. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go Sayori. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. <laughs> Jeez. You think I care about anything? I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. That's what you think. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Thief. Don't worry, next time we'll do a pro Yuri strat. Er, choice. <laughs> Beautiful and smart, this. <laughs> You're so silly, PP Smalls. <laughs> you think about me too much sometimes. For that, you must perish. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it. So, Sayori, I've already made up my mind. 
I really can't figure it out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. Conversation trails off. Kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about, but I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen that time? Loud screeching noises. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a group of bats to help defend your position. Hey, it's a it's a effective tactic. I wonder what's gonna happen. Okay. Um, we're gonna finish the poem, and then I need to take a really quick bathroom break, but that'll only be like two minutes. All right, let's see. Um, whisper. Analysis. Uh, a tone. Spies. Effulgent. Uh. Climax. Playground. Dream. Beauty. Oh, wait, no, I hate beauty. Can I go back? Alright, um. Giggle. Warm. Uh, jumpy. Uh, uh, doki. Uh. Agonizing. Wish to hang out with Sayori. Sayori seems like such a nice girl. She seems just so like so happy. Although judging from her previous poem, I don't know if that's always the case. Nowage. I should have blade 40 years straight. You think you can stop me? Uh maybe? IRL. I wish I had a friend that was like Sayori. That'd be cool. Although I do have some pretty happy friends. I'm usually happy. Let's do eternity. Infinite. Cage? Hmm. Crimson. Okay. <laughs> Alright, 